Stop yawning so much. <laughs> you slept in until like one in the afternoon. No, I did You've not. Been awake for four I did hours. not. I did not. I woke up at eleven. Actually, yeah, I remember it's my message. Yeah. You were actually awake. Yeah. See, I had Once. stuff to do today. <laughs> like what? So everyone, this is Kent. Hi there. Of Kentington. That's right. Of Kent. He is a friend of mine most of the time. He, <laughs> <laughs> he drives this 2016 Shelby GT350. And... He has put how many miles are on it already? It's 13,928. 13, that is a lot of miles. And tomorrow I'm driving from Detroit to San Francisco to put another 2,500 or something yeah, so miles you're on. Yeah, going it. home. He's going bye bye. Yeah. But uh, we decided to hang out. He goes to school at U of M Dearborn. Mm -hmm. I work in Dearborn, so I just left work and we met up and we're going to drive around and talk about the Shelby GT350, which that I really, right. really, 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 really love. I, uh,. I like Mustangs, and you like Mustangs, yeah. which is ironic, because your background. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. I was I was raised to probably be the opposite of liking Ford. Oh, I'm a Ford. Ford owner, yeah. Now he's like the um, biggest Ford fan. Now fan. I love Ford, and yeah. I'm slowly converting my family, so. Yeah. But uh, this is the Shelby GT350. I have driven this and the 350R extensively, and um, it's getting really hot. Yeah, it is. The basics, of which most everybody probably knows, Five point the, the the highlight of this engine or of this car is the engine. Five yeah. point two liter oh, for sure. flat plane crank V eight voodoo five hundred twenty six horsepower. How many torque? Four hundred twenty six power. 420, no, no five twenty six horsepower. Five hundred twenty six and horsepower. Four twenty nine, I believe. I don't trust your numbers, but I don't remember either. So hey, the Dude. guy wants to rev with you. It's a rev. What is that? A Honda Accord. Honda Accord. You have the valves open. Yeah, valves open. So this is the 350, which is pretty much exactly the same thing. The difference between this and the R is uh, the R has the bigger aero kit, carbon wheels, pretty much track slicks, wider tires, and no back seat. No back seat. That's it. Same power, same transmission. Um, it's got it's got the Sport Cup twos. Yeah, correct. Um, right, yeah. and the carbon wheels, mm -hmm. the aero kit, and it does feel different. I've driven both, and it, yeah. once the tires are warm on the track, you can feel the extra grip and mm -hmm. the, the lighter wheels. Because again, that's something I remember the statistic being, or not statistic, the scientific fact of one pound of unsprung, no, wait, one pound of unsprung weight reduced is equivalent to like ten pounds off the chassis mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. So it like it factors in a lot. Well, yeah. Carbon wheels they also cool. fill the the tires with nitrogen, like they do on the the GTR. Yeah, because air is too unstable, and, you know. Um, but the the reason that's one of the reasons why I bought the. Shelby GG350 track pack rather than the R. Well, because the first year you could... The first year, it yeah. was almost impossible to find them. Uh, the second year, it was getting easier, but they were still wanting a lot more over oh, sticker. Year, oh, you mean like 15? Well, I'm talking 16. 16. When I was yeah. in the market to purchase this vehicle, yeah, yeah. I looked at some R's, but I realized that I really don't want all the hassles that go along with the R because this is my only car. Yeah. I have driven this in the winter. Uh, <laughs> as video, stupid as that may of, sound. A video of you trying to drive it when there was well, actually okay, snow so on the ground. Well, okay, so when there's actually sl snow on the ground, obviously these wheels don't, and these tires uh, don't hook up. Yeah, you don't go But anywhere. when there's salt down, and if you're really careful, yeah. you can drive it in the stupid. winter. It Well, yeah, yeah. but well, it's fun. It. <laughs> I made it. We're good. We're here. Okay, so that rattle that you just heard is a great segue into the build quality of the car. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's, when I first no got the car, with. when I first got the car, um, I first thing I noticed was the terrible panel gap. The panel gap on the oh, S550 Mustang. Oh, you complained Mustangs. so much about the panel gaps. I'm oh, like, yo, Ford. it's 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 terrible, and I I really wish like by now that Ford could have you know possibly fix that. No, I, it just, I, I was I was just hoping that their tolerances would be a lot better. Yeah. Um, Not quite. The shift knob in this specific one, uh, this isn't a common problem, but this specific one, uh, the shift knob linkage rattles. Vibrates because of the, the engine, that flat plane crash. Exactly, generates, exactly. But it, should, it shouldn't do that. And I've taken it in. They couldn't find it, so I got to take it in again, get that fixed. I was just like, whatever, I'll deal with it for now. Um, and an, an, another issue that I've had 
and I'm not trying to badmouth the car because I absolutely love it. Oh, and yeah, this he's is like a biggest proponent. Of honestly, the car ever. this car, I've had more fun in this car than I think over the long run. If somebody were to say, "Okay, you're about, do you want to take a 430 Scuderia across the country, or yeah. do you want to take this car across the country?" I would honestly think I'd, I'd have more fun with this. I would have more fun with this. What would you like to take on a canyon run? I'd take this. Honestly, it's just so much more fun. I've never driven a Ferrari, so I don't know, but this is a lot of fun. Yeah. Whoa. What is? Uh, oh, that's just. I've seen. I've a... seen that guy around, and I've sped up to him before I got this car. I was like, Oh my god! It's an R. It's an R. R. Like, no. Nope. So. It's an R wing. Stop buying R wings for your Eco Boost. <laughs> I don't think that's an EcoBoost. I think it's, it's a 5.0. But I've seen it on an EcoBoost. Oh, and oh, jeez. George. <laughs> no, no. George is great. It actually looks kind of cool. Oh, we're getting gas. We are getting gas because that is one thing you need to do yeah, a do lot in this car. Okay, okay let's, let's actually check this out. I'll give you my trip and fuel. I average 13.2. Oh, that's, that's... Uh, when I first got the car, it was 10.5. And then oh, I driving like a moron the whole time. Well, I didn't take it on any long trips. That's mm -hmm. because I take this car on trips. Yeah. Um, so they increase your average. Wait, you keep driving. A... What are you doing? I'm positioning. You it. realize the, the hose has an extension. Yeah, and but it I like to be to lined be up. I, I like to be like as close and tight to it as I can, because I don't want anybody else to hit me. That's already happened. Yeah, it's yeah. not. It's not a good feeling. Put gas on your car. Okay. So yeah, this is the S550 Gen. I owned a Boss 302 Laguna Seca. Which was a 2012. This is a 16. They refreshed it. The interior is way better. The interior on my Laguna Seca kind of sucked. It was very basic. There's really nothing in it. These are way nicer. I really like these Recaros. Um, they, they the design is better. The materials are all right. For the newer ones, I actually changed. One of the big changes is the uh, top of the door panels right there is soft touch on the uh, 2017 GT350. So that's one difference. Also. They went to track pack being standard on all G... What are you doing? Are you going to mod it? No, no absolutely not. not. I keep telling you to do the you resonator delete. You know, so the R's come from the factory with the one set of the resonators taken out. And it's just straight. <sighs> yeah, and a lot of people, I know it's that. It's easy mod and it makes but, it sound but better. But the thing is, you have to cut. You have to cut, and I don't like that. So? It, it, I... I I don't want it to ruin how the car is right now. I find there's a car that was built that so, was so perfect no, for no. me that I don't need to no, modify no, no, no. it. But it's a factory mod of sorts because it's done from a factory car on a different version of your car. But I, I'm afraid it would compromise okay. normal mode. Yeah. But Pat is not going to mod this car. I am not. There so actually, I ordered some tire stickers and I'm really excited for those to come in <laughs> because I'm not going to do any other mods. Uh, so that's as far as I get I get power. to go. That's exactly. Yeah. Less, uh, well, technically it's more unsprung weight, so it makes it perform. We've said unsprung weight way too many times. We have the word of the day. So this is the Shelby GT3. I like it a lot. It's a fun car. It really is. You, you, you've driven this one. What, what, what were your thoughts of it when you drove oh, this awesome. one on that canyon run? Because yeah, we were out awesome. in the canyons. Yeah. Well, because the engine is awesome. It's amazing. It revs so high. It doesn't make that much torque down low. Um, that was a big criticism very, compared to. That's it felt very different true. compared to my boss. I think I still had the boss at the time, right? Um, no, I might. Have I don't know. It. I think you sold it. No, no, I still had it because I came to California for Car Week last year. True. I still had it. I didn't right, sell it until right. October-ish. So yeah. But, uh, oh, just the way it revs. I found myself short shifting because it was the first time driving it. Mm -hmm. I was like pulling, pulling. I like shift, like, oh shoot, that was only like 6,500 RPM. Yeah. It was another like 1,500 to go. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, th I find right. myself doing that in this car because when you're revving this thing all the way up, you're like, what's going to stop? What's going to stop? Yeah, like, oh, I like, don't want to break, I don't wanna break yeah. this. Yeah. And But it's really nice because you have a HUD that comes up. Yeah. Um, like heads up display for people who don't know that acronym. HUD. Um, I, the clutch felt really light to me. That was weird. You know, a lot of people, I, I remember you commenting on that, and you yeah. said, you know, for a muscle car, for a performance car, yeah. you said you didn't really like it. I drive this car every day. I love it. I guess, in yeah, traffic, it's, nicer, it's the it? nice, it's it's the biggest blessing yeah. you could ever ask Ooh. for. Yeah. Windows down. Time to make some noises. A little bit. Is with this car is if you know the sound of it 
you can yeah, pick you one can out of a look. crowd. There's Shelby's coming. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, there have been times I've been sitting eating with people, and yeah. down the street, I'm like, there's a Shelby. Yeah. And they're like, what are you talking about? Well, it comes rolling look. by. They're like, yeah. what? Are, how'd you know that? I'm just like, yep, you definitely know. It's a distinction uh, sound. So, you like your 350 a lot. I love it. It's a freaking awesome car. Yeah. It's amazing. Ford did a really good job with it. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there'll ever be anything else like this again. Manual. That's why I, I. That's why I decided to keep it. Never gonna sell it. Never gonna if sell. If you it. ever sell it, I'm gonna take this video and be like, "Kent, you said you weren't gonna sell it. You liar." You can do that. You can do that. <laughs> I don't plan on selling it. So good luck on your journey across the country. Thank you very much. I'll miss you. Come Thank back you. quickly so we can hang out. Yep. Again. And you or, come out to California for yeah. Car Week. Yeah. Well, we're planning that. We'll figure yes, that out for sure. Monterey Car Week. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, yeah. Check. Oh, check out his Instagram and check out my Instagram, Kent of Kentington. And I am Eddie X six one six. Sweet, sweet. Yeah. Thank you very much. Sweet. Thank you. I should end all videos like that. Be like, thank you. <laughs> yeah. What does that mean? Goodbye. Goodbye. What do you think it would be? How do you say it? Thank you. Thank you. Sort of, sort of. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Today's episode, we teach a white person how to speak Chinese. Thank you.